Hey guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Peace. Peeky boo. I see you because I'm YouTube famous now. The ultimate experience available today. The album, the soundtrack, Willy Wonka. Dad, shimmy, shimmy. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? This is kind of um, a little bit of a different video for me. One, because I am sitting in front of my computer with the worst lighting in the entire world. I know, the window is, it's, listen, listen, Linda, okay? It is 4.51 p.m. and the light is coming in through the window. The light is not great, and this is how the lighting is gonna change, okay, when you watch. I'm gonna go from screen, <laughs> to screen, to screen, to screen, to screen, to screen, to screen. I know those are some shorts that I wanna buy from this brand called Hammies. Oh, they're so cute. But anyway, I've got articles to read and I've got all kinds of stuff, okay? So listen, the quality of this video is not gonna be fantastic today. But you know what will be fantastic? The lip tutorial, okay? The lip tutorial, as usual, will be fantastic because I have my Treat Beauty uh, Marshmallow Lip Balm right there, followed up with some lip gloss. Okay, so let's get into this. Now, I last night made a uh, list of videos that I'm going to be making over here. Would you guys like to hear the videos I'm going to be making? You're probably like, no, we just came for the Willy Wonka experience. Okay, drama video. So I wanna talk about, well, I'm not gonna tell you guys, but I got a lot of true crime that's coming up in the next week. Plus the Raw Beauty Christie video. So anyway, um, I wanted to talk about this Willy Wonka experience today, right? And um, I'm not gonna do some long intro. You guys wanna see about, hear about my weight loss. I already did that video on my Peter Dust Stuff channel. You wanna see a haul that I did? I already did that on my Peter Dust Stuff channel. Did a Peterisms video. I'm getting ready to vlog here in a second. Gonna watch all my reality shows tonight so I can report on that tomorrow on my reality channel. Listen, Linda, we've been very busy over here today, okay? Now, I have to tell you, I am not somebody that is online a lot. I, I know it's surprising to you, but I'm just not. Like, my husband, is literally on TikTok 24 hours a day. He loves the TikTok. Oh my God, he loves the TikTok, okay? And it's so funny because when my friend Tiny Jean and I talk about it, she's like, oh my God, Eric, her husband, he's always on the TikTok. My husband's always on the TikTok. Everybody's always on the TikTok. Is that the better lighting? This lighting is horrible. I feel like I should go do this video upstairs. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you guys, you listen, you're going to either watch. I know people are going to be like, Peter, the quality of this video is so bad. Get over it. I don't know what to tell you, okay? I wasn't going to film a video on this channel today, but I was like, you know what? I really want to talk about it and whether I film it with the most amazing jump cut editing in the entire world or I film it with the most amazing lighting and everything like that or I film it sitting in front of my computer it's probably still going to get 2,000 views because I don't think really anybody cares about this but this is the kind of stuff that gets me really interested and that is this ultimate scam did you guys hear about this with this Willy Wonka experience I feel like every time I get on Twitter or TikTok or Instagram more and more is coming out about this Willy Wonka experience experience come with me and you'll be now i have to tell you in a world of pure imagination beast i have to tell you when i was growing up as a kid that was literally one of my favorite movies in the entire world okay the one with gene wilder back in the day now, I know that there's a new version that came out. Well, there's a, the version with Johnny Depp, and then there's, like, a, another version that came out, but it's really about uh, Willy Wonka when he was a kid, and it's with Tim Timothy Chalamet and things like that. So, um, I, I know about all that. I've seen the, I've seen them and all that kind of stuff. Well, I haven't seen the newest one, but I've seen the, the Johnny Depp one. I don't, the Johnny Depp one kind of freaks me out, if you want to know the truth, okay? Uh, I like the Gene Wilder one back in the day. But anyway, when I was a kid, and my dad would pick me up for Dad's weekend. That's when you're divorced, and your dad comes and picks you up for the weekend. And, you know, we go to the video store and he would say, okay, like get whatever you want to get. And I'd always get like every week I get Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory. And then we go to the, the, to the grocery store and I'd always want to get candy so I could, you know, chocolate, especially because, you know, Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory. Right. And so I even had the books. I had the glass elevator book. I had the books. I love the books and all that kind of stuff. Right. By Roald Dahl back in the day. So I was obsessed with Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory. When I saw this come out, I could not believe it. I was like, okay, this is hilarious, actually. But also very, very sad 
Because if I were a kid, I would be so disappointed. Not to mention that the price value of the tickets was very expensive. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I have some articles pulled up here. One of them is from Vox and it's supposed to be like, it has it all broken down. The less than magical Willy Wonka event briefly explained. Okay. The viral fiasco in Scotland that make kids cry and prompted calls to police. So let me read this to you, okay? Willy Wonka, a storybook character who's known for the extraordinary treats he creates, was recently featured in an event that was anything but. In Glasgow, Scotland, families look forward to an immersive event billed as Willy's Chocolate Experience, were met with what they described as an empty warehouse filled with lackluster decorations and few, if any, of the promised treats. Instead, parents and kids were given a half cup of lemonade and two jelly beans each, which actually the guy that comes out and he is the one that was hired to play Willy Wonka, which I'll read you what he had to say in a second because it's very funny. Um, I would like include the TikToks and stuff, but you know, YouTube doesn't like that whenever I do it. Everybody else can do it, but when I include the TikToks, uh, my, my videos always get striked, so I don't do that. But anyway, he had some very funny things to say. He actually said they were told to give each kid one jelly bean, okay? So each kid got a small glass of lemonade and one jelly bean, no chocolate. No chocolate at the Willy Wonka chocolate experience, okay? Instead, parents and kids were given a half cup of lemonade and two jelly beans each, hardly the world of pure imagination they signed up for. There was maybe 20 chairs, a couple of tables, and half-inflated bouncy castles, Stuart Sinclair, a father of three who brought his kids to the event, told the New York Times. Photos of the gathering, which feature sparse decor, frightening new characters, and a disheartened-looking Oompa Loompa have captivated people on social media for the last few days, okay? And these pictures are from Pop Crave, and I will include them in here somewhere so you guys can see, okay? Including the woman that played the Oompa Loompa. There was one Oompa Loompa. <laughs> there was one wom woman that was behind a bar, and she was the Oompa Loompa, okay? And you can see the different things. Now, before, I don't know if they show this or not. Oh, they do. Okay. So then it goes on here, and this is, Pop Crave says, a Willy Wonka immersive experience that promised to transport fans into a magical realm, left kids in tears. The event turned out to be such a letdown that customers called the police and compared the attraction to a meth lab. Okay? Then this, uh... Chris Alsican of Alsican TV put, apparently this was sold as a live Willy Wonka experience, but they used all AI images on the website to sell tickets, and then people showed up and saw this, and it got so bad, people called the cops. So I will include those pictures as well, so you guys can see those pictures, thanks to Chris Alsican on Twitter. And I will also include here the invitation or, or the event poster where it shows Willy Wonka and this immersive experience. And I think if you go in here, it, it tells you like what you're going to get for your money and stuff like that. Hold on a second. Here it is. Okay. So I don't know if you can see this, but I'll include it on here. And it says, uh, in, in cheering entertainment, um, captivating live performances, catchy tunes, lollipops, a uh, it's all spelled wrong. A paradise of sweet treats, practical information, February 24th, 2024 to February 25th, duration 45 minutes to an hour, and apparently the tickets cost $40 a person. Okay, can you even imagine? So anyway, it goes on to say, the, disappearing, the disappointing, barren, and comical nature of the event brings to mind past scams like that of the botched music festival Firefest. That's exactly what I saw when I started reading this, which brought hundreds of concert goers to the Bahamas for poorly produced concerts and ran low on water. There's just something about a disastrously executed scam, at least a fairly benign one, that people can't seem to get enough of. But there's something more than this fraud going on here. The saga renews scrutiny, too, on the ongoing boom in live events, a market that's expected to double globally between 2022 and 2032, and how difficult it can be for consumers to verify that they're getting exactly what they're paying for. Additionally, the experience is the latest to draw attention to the weird role artificial intelligence which is getting criticized greatly, and its potential dangers occupy in our culture right now. Advertisements for the gathering, which were written with typos, I'll put it up here again, uh, were similar to those created by AI per a business insider inve investigation, and at least one actor hired for the event has accused House of Illuminati, the company behind the event, of using AI to write the script for the experience which is said to have featured nonsensical phrases and odd new characters that don't exist in the books or related movies, including a evil chocolate maker that was basically like a scary-looking 
creature at a haunted house is kind of what it looked like when I saw the pictures of it. If I, if I find it, I'll include them here. The event was put on by a London-based company called House of Illuminati, which relied heavily on ads that did not depict any aspect of the event itself. Notably, it also wasn't affiliated with the estate of author Roald Dahl, Warner Brothers, or the Wonka franchise at all. A press, uh, prescient Reddit user appeared to predict that it would be a scam, warning people against the gathering more than two weeks ago. Has anyone else been getting a, a Facebook ads for Willie's Chocolate Experience user? This person wrote, every image is AI generated along with the gibberish text it tries to create. Not one single picture giving people an idea of what they are shelling out money for, and yet people are buying up tickets. In lieu of actual photos, the website featured colorful illustrations and promised a chocolate fantasy, even though the kids were given one jelly bean and a small glass of lemonade. Magical surprises and optical marvels. Parents, oh, who paid about $44 a ticket, and even an actor who participated said it fell way short and didn't even include chocolate. In some ways, it was a world of imagination. Like, imagine there is a whole chocolate factory here. Paul Connell, one of the actors hired to portray Wonka, quipped to the Independent. Connell noted he had concerns following the rehearsal, but assumed, which were the day before the event, but assumed they'd be allowed, uh, allayed by showtime. I spoke to the people running it and thought, surely by the morning it won't look like this. And then I turned up the morning and it absolutely did. The event was so bad that the police were called at one point, though the reason was unclear and it had to be shut down on Saturday afternoon before it completed its full weekend run. Since the fiasco, House of Illuminati has said it will issue refunds with his events director, Billy Cole, offering an apology in an interview with STV News. My vision of the artistic rendition of a well-known book didn't come to fruition. He said, for that, I am truly, I am absolutely, truly, and utterly sorry. Let's look at these pictures again of what you got and what he envisioned. And then it says the AI of it all. The Willie's Chocolate Experience Saga has highlighted just few barriers there are when it comes to the use of deceptive marketing to make money and how AI might be used to make scams easier to execute, which is so interesting because just yesterday I was talking about photoshopping and filtering pictures to do makeup reviews, which is very interesting. You now see YouTubers who are no longer in put it, writing out and typing their own description boxes. They're having them AI generated. Much of their script is AI generated. Before long, we won't even need YouTubers, TikTokers, or Instagrams anymore because the whole thing just be AI generated. So Culture Crave put up this and said, police were called to an immersive Willy Wonka experience after families showed up to an empty warehouse. The event reportedly charged $40 for entry advertised with AI art and said it would be a journey filled with wondrous creations and enchanting surprises. Business insiders Beatrice Nolan looked into the allegations about AI crafting the Wonka advertising and found that the publication was able to generate comparable images. Several of the images featured on the website have telltale signs of AI art, and Business Insider was able to create very similar images using AI. The saga was realistically small stakes. It's a reminder, however, of how AI and other marketing can promise something to people and really, really fail to deliver. It goes in there. Vulture. So now there's these two people. The woman that was hired to play the Oompa Loompa. The Oompa Loompa. The, the one and only Oompa Loompa. Okay. Who has, she has been criticized greatly online and gotten a lot of hate for it. Then there's the guy that was hired to play Willy Wonka himself. Okay. Which he put out a TikTok. It is absolutely, his name is Paul Connell. C-O-N-N-E-L-L. -L. You can go find it on TikTok. But I'm going to read you some of what he said. It's, he's absolutely hilarious. Okay. He talks about how he doesn't look anything like Willy Wonka. He was given a 15-page script and that he was told that he had to read the script by the next day. He memorized it. He even says at one point, he goes, here, I can read you some of the script. He goes, well, I don't need to read it to you. I have it memorized. It's hilarious. The woman has come out and she has said quite a bit about online about how she's gotten all this hate. I'm going to read to you some of the things on Twitter that she said and what people are saying about her in just a second. But there was an article on Vulture. Vulture has been covering this very closely and said, Gla Glasgow sad Oompa Loompa isn't going to sugarcoat this. And this is his interview that they did with her. And it goes on to say, um, the internet loves a fiasco, whether it be 2017's infamous, infamous fire festival, 2014's sad ball pit at Dashcon, um, or Tonic Tanicon, you could say, or last year's muddy hike for freedom at Burning Man. We love to marvel at events that make big promises, but flop spectacularly. It's the online equivalent of slowing down in your car to look at a giant wreck. Enter February 24th disastrous Willy Wonka chocolate ex factory experience in Glasgow, Scotland, which instantly became a viral sensation when pictures emerged of the sad spectacle. Organized by House of Illuminati, it goes on to explain the whole thing. 
So at one point it says they have a picture of the uh, woman that played the Oompa Loompa and it says this photo from the Willy, this is a tweet, this photo from the Willy Wonka experience is single-handedly the photo of the year. I know it's only February, but close the vote. There's no topping this. Please find this woman. She needs to be interviewed ASAP. So they go on and they interview her and it goes on to say, well, a subsequent photo, meet, what is her name? Kirsty Patterson. While a subsequent photo shows there was at least one other Oompa Loompa at the table that day, which actually ended up being the Willy Wonka man, it's Patterson who has emerged as a viral star and defining image of the Wonka fiasco. Uh, X, Twitter, posts have complained that her as one of the standout memes of 2020, she looks so better in the picture, right? People are comparing the image to works of art or making art of their own showing Patterson as the Mona Lisa. Others are wondering if she is really the missing Kate Middleton in disguise. Many are predicting with good reason that she'll be among the Halloween costumes you see this year. Absolutely she will. Patterson, who uh, first spoke with the Daily Mail about her experience with the event, opened up in an interview on Wednesday about what it's been like to go viral for one of the most mortifying days of her life. And for the picture, she stresses, does not actually resemble her in real life. And so it goes on here. Hold on, let me get this ad out of here. Tell me about yourself. What do you do when you're not dressed as an Oompa Loompa? She says, I'm 29. I want to be uh, to act more in children's entertainment because I enjoy it. I've got a lot of energy and I like being around kids. She goes on and on and on. Hold on a second. Um, how did you get roped into this event? Was it listed somewhere? It was listed on Indeed. I didn't normally get my acting jobs through Indeed, but I just thought, all right, to be honest, I was a bit skeptical, a wee bit skeptical because it was <clears throat> not through an agency. They were offering 500 pounds for two days of work, so I decided to go. Then they said, you went to the warehouse on Friday for a dress rehearsal. What happened at that meeting? And she said, I was shocked. To be honest with you, I wasn't expecting it to be like that. It did seem like there was a production going, but to me, it wasn't a finished production, just a start. It was the first time me and the other actors met. I've never had a script the night before in my life. So when I got the script the night before, I was like, oh, this is not. They kept going on about how you could just improvise. I was skeptical of them saying that too, because if you'd written a script, then you probably pride yourself on what you've written, right? You wouldn't want people to improvise. I kind of thought it was AI generated, but at this point, I'd signed the contract. Were you shown the costumes that day, the set? She says, this is the mental thing about the costumes. Given the amount of people we're paying to go and the amount they were paying us, I thought they'd have sufficient costumes. So at that point, I was like, what is it you want us to wear? What's the makeup like? Because it's Willy Wonka experience. You need to have good costumes because it's all meant to be a bit imaginative. But we didn't know what we were wearing at that point. They just said we were going to be working through the night or whatever. So I just assumed it was going to be a lot better. What happened when you turned up Saturday? It was the exact same. I was like, I don't know if I actually want to do this, but I signed the contract and part of me, so she goes on to talk about that. Were you wearing orange body paint in that photo? I couldn't tell. She said, no, they didn't have any makeup or anything. It's something I've never experienced ever in my life. By this point, I'm judging myself for letting this go as long as, as, long as I did. But we got the costumes and I started seeing the kids coming in and they were all dressed up and I was just feeling so guilty. They said, tell us about the moments that the kids started coming in. Did you see the innocents leave their eyes? She said, they were quite upset. I think they were confused, but it was more than parents. I just looked at them and I think that they may have known that they uh, known when they looked at me. An older couple said to me, I really, really hope you get paid well for this. <laughs> this is so sad. And I was honest and I said, I'm this close to walking out. This is not what I signed up for. Can you imagine this, this experience? The actors I was working with are amazing people and this has got nothing to do with them. So I just thought, I'm going to make the best of this. When the first round of kids came, get, it came in, don't get me wrong, it's still an incredibly shockingly bad set, but we did our lines and everything well. We just had a bit of fun with it. I don't know how else you can put sprinkles on shit, but we were trying to be the sprinkles on shit. I live for this woman. I was going around and feeling really embarrassed after we did it. The first time, the organizers were like, just abandon the script and let the guests walk through. <laughs> This is so bad. I feel so bad for these kids. When you say walk through, how long are we talking to walk through the event? She said, I'm telling you, this would have taken about two minutes. I've never experienced anything like this in my life. So then she says, Let, they say, let's talk about this photo that's gone viral. What are you doing at this moment here? She says, it doesn't even look like me. I, I was thinking when it came out initially, oh, people aren't going to know it looks like me. Maybe I can get away with this. But no, it went completely global. In that exact moment of the photo, they told us to abandon the script. They have this jelly bean room, but they eventually ran out of jelly beans. 
I mean, how many bags did you buy for one jelly bean per kid? I was already rationing the jelly beans to three per kid, and that was me being generous. I wanted to give the kids all the candy, so we had no jelly beans, and people were coming up to me. It was just humiliating. I was starting to get angry. The other Oompa Loompa, I guess there was one other Oompa Loompa, came over to me at this point and went, where is everyone? Why am I left here on my own? Where is everyone else? You know how they talk about me contemplating my life? This is me contemplating my life. She said, I'm laughing about it now, but I was so angry for the kids and the parents. I know people spent a lot of money coming here. It's a disservice to what I do. Eventually, I just walked off. I was like, I'm done, but got somebody a picture. Of, but someone got a picture of me. They said, are you aware just how viral the picture is? She goes, I'm not going to lie or sugarcoat this. This has been a quite a lot for me. I find it funny and I can make a humorous joke about it. But the flip side of that is that this is embarrassing for what I do. And I hope this doesn't tarnish that. It's as, if it, it's as if it's been edited, obviously, because it's such an ugly photo. People were commenting on it and saying I look ugly or like a meth head. I found the negative comments really hard, but I do see the funny side of it. I know I'm all right looking. They said, I, they, I suppose that... It, that's good. It doesn't resemble you. And she said, me and all my close friends recognize me. I, and my friends know I'm the only one who would do something as daft as this. To be honest, I don't know how viral this has gone. I turned off my phone for a day because I was like, right, this is too much. My phone was going off constantly. I didn't know how to navigate it. So how big has this gone? Because this is the first interview I've done where I've really spoken about it. And this person says, it's very viral. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but a lot of pictures from the event have gone viral. And she says, I don't blame it for going viral. I just hope everyone gets their money back because I've not been paid for this. None of the actors have. So it's like we're kind of going through all this for nothing. I just need to see the sunny, funny side of this. Anyone who knows me knows I can take a joke. I just didn't expect it to go this wild. And then somebody, then they ask her, have you seen the people saying they're going to dress up like you for Halloween? And she said, no, but if you want to, you can. So that was that article about it. Now, I have to tell you, in going in here and seeing the stuff online about it, where people are talking about this article. Hold on a second, I got this guy's TikToks. I screenshot some of what he said on here. A lot of people are talking about her. And this, uh, so here it came up on... Pop Cray, viral Oompa Loompa from Willy Wonka Glasgow Experience speaks to Vulture. And she goes on and tells her what she said. And then underneath here, people are talking about it. And I mean, it's like people are saying it's not her fault. This whole thing was a mess. She was just hired to do the job and that's that. And then somebody said, get this queen a real gig. And somebody said, Twitter is going to help her get the most amazing gig ever. And then Twitter is going to dig up old tweets and cancel her, which is so true. And all these people were like, she was really the best part of the entire fiasco. Need her for my kid's birthday party. Somebody said, oh, now I feel bad. I'm sorry, girl. Somebody said, no, nah, we blame the person who created that whole event. All these people are really siding with her. They said this whole situation gets more crazier with every post. I cannot stop watching it. This is like that cruise around the world, okay? I just can't stop reading this stuff. Somebody said, oh my, oh, that sucks. Let's see a real picture of her. Bet she's cute. And all these people are talking about it. So then this guy, I don't know if you can see it. Hold on, let me turn down my, um, hold on a second for a second. Let me turn down the brightness on my phone. This is the only way you can see it on here. So then this guy comes out, okay? And he is the guy that was hired to play... Hold on a second. Willy Wonka. He is hilarious, you guys, in this TikTok. Hold on. Let me get to the very first one. So this is him. This is the guy that was hired. I know. Great editing. That was hired to play um, Willy Wonka. And it says, and so it's this TikTok that's going around. It says, I was the actor who played Willy Wonka at the awful Glasgow event. Now, I've only screenshot a couple of things that he said. He says, at the Wonka's chocolate experience fiasco that happened... Um, and they got me as a topper in a dirty warehouse in Glasgow. People are expecting a magic chocolate experience. Um, they wanted Timothy Chalamet and they got Timothy Charlatan instead. <laughs> He said the, fifth, the script was a 15-page monologue, pretty much of it all AI-generated uh, gibberish. The, um, and then he says, talked about this uh, evil chocolate maker. And he goes, was the chocolate that he made evil or was he evil? He goes, I'm very confused. Like, was the chocolate that he made evil or was he evil? He's, this guy's hilarious. He goes, what was it? An evil chocolate maker or for a star? Or is it that, that? And he goes, a single jelly bean and a quarter of a glass of lemonade is what we were told to give the kids. And he goes on and on and on. You guys, it is, I mean, this story is unreal to me, okay? And I think because the whole thing, I mean, it's so sad for the kids and the parents, you know? Like, 
I would have been devastated as a kid if I had shown up to this thing, right? But at the same time, it's equally kind of like, it's hilarious. And the fact that these two actors, the Oompa Loompa and the Wooly Wonka, the head of this, are like making a joke of it and being like, all right, like, I mean, we know what we signed up for, you know? And I love the attitude of both of them. I think it's fantastic. Um, they, somebody, they did come out, the people that were the uh, ones in charge of the event, I think they did come out and make, um, I got this whole thing about here. I think they did come out and make an apology um, hold on a second. Where is it at? The creator of this is from Discussing Film on Twitter. The creator of the Willy Wonka experience has issued an apology. I'm really shocked the event had fallen short of the expectations of people on paper. My vision of the artistic rendition of a well-known book didn't come to fruition for that. I am absolutely, truly, and utterly sorry. Anyway, very, very sad. I guess that is a warning about AI-generated worlds that maybe it's not the best of yet to come. I'm more of like, you know, front porch mentality. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm more about all that. And I'm more about the original uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. But maybe this will bring some more attention back to that. And can we get these fantastic actors some real jobs out there? I think they deserve it, don't you? Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.